talking about Vancouver Canucks who were great defensive defensemen is like listing jockeys who were great basketball players. It's a short conversation. In the case of the Canucks, the first stop down memory lane is probably Christian Erhoff, who left Vancouver in 2011, and, four National Hockey League teams later, is now lighting it up in the German league. At least, Erhoff is at home. Then you'll probably wistfully mention Jerky Lum in the 1990s, and maybe Paul Reinhardt at the end of his career in the 1980s. And then you're talking about guys remembered in black and white, who never wore helmets when they played, and never went without hats when they didn't. And some of those guys were effective because the goalies back then wore pads like baseball catchers do, minus the mask. The Canucks have had some defensemen who can hammer the puck, Sami Salo, Ed Javanovsky, Adrian Ockoin, Jeff Brown. But in terms of a green light defenseman, a guy who could skate the puck up ice on a one-man breakout, make plays and generate offense on the rush, and quarterback a power play, the Canucks have had nearly as few of those as they've had Stanley Cups. Bobby Orr and Paul Coffey never played here.